welcome back to our channel. Today I'm doing the KKW Beauty Classic Blossom Collection First Impressions and a little bit of a demo. Um, I'm quite late for this review because my delivery was a little bit late, delayed this time. So I want to apologize for that. But in case you were wondering whether this collection works on Sri Lankan or Indian or brown skin, um, you can keep watching and get my opinion. I wanted to try something a little bit dark because I have a lot of dark lines and I feel like the other colors were a little too light and I have similar shades. So this is the shade and um, the first thing I noticed was how small this blush is. Like literally, this is how small it is. Let me show you it right next to a MAC blush. So this is a standard MAC blush and let's compare it. So it's quite small and this one sells for I believe $18. I will put the price here and I will also put the price of the MAC blush somewhere in the subtitle. So there you go. You get 3.35 um, grams on KKW blush and uh, on standard MAC blush you get 6 grams. So it's almost like double you get um, in a MAC blush. The packaging, let's talk about the packaging. It's really beautiful. I love the packaging even though it's small. I think it's quite cute at the same time. I mean it's pricey but I like the fact that it's small because you can easily travel with this and it feels very heavy. It feels good, steady and well made. I love the packaging. I love the transparent um, packaging and that blush nude is so beautiful and inside you get a nice mirror. And um, this, where the pan is, it's transparent. I really like the design of this. So because it is um, a dark shade, I want to try this on with a dual uh, fiber brush, something like the MAC 130, so that I will pick up the product as little as possible and then deposit it in very light movement. So let's give it a try. Now this is my first impressions on this. Let's see, so I like to go a little bit higher on the apples of my cheeks. So I like to always smile before I apply a blush. Okay, it's really nice. I think I need a bigger mirror, so I'm gonna switch to this mirror. Oh, I love the blush, it's pretty. I think I put a little too much over here, as you can see. So I'm going to go back with my beauty blender and just blend it, blend that into that contour with it, go back with the contour brush and blend it. I really like this color, I think it's very beautiful and I forgot to contour my nose so I'm going to contour my nose and to contour my nose I'm using MAC 224 brush and I'm going to lightly hit this shade right there and look straight I really like this blush I think it's a very beautiful shade especially on my type of tan skin 
So if you are tan like me, I think this blush would really work for you. I really like the KKW Beauty lipstick formula because it's very hydrating, it doesn't dry out. Um, the only downside is it's not matte, so you have to keep that in mind in case you don't like to wear anything satiny, anything shiny. This is how the packaging of this one looks like. It's different to the Mario uh, collaboration and it's a really simple packaging again. I really like that idea. I mean, I like the whole vibe of this brand being really simple and sophisticated. I like that. So you get all the ingredients on the packaging. I wish though that she had the branding somewhere here because it just um, doesn't say anything. At the bottom you see the shade number is 6, I got the pink 6 and you get 4 grams of product. Yeah, so I really wish there was like KKW Beauty branding somewhere here but I really like the um, lipstick casing, it's really beautiful. So this one is not frosted like the Mario one and when you open it, this is the colour. This is number 6. Such a beautiful shade. I had a hard time picking up the shades because all the shades look really gorgeous. So I actually like to put a lipstick first on myself, especially if it's a dark shade, because then I can um, know how much deeper or how much bolder I should go with the eyes. Um, especially for a dark lip like this, I feel like I would go a little bit subtle on the eyes, just so that it balances out. So this is number six. The formula is so beautiful. You guys know I like to overdraw my top lip a little bit. Oh my god, that's so nice. And it went, you guys, so it's just one swipe, it's very opaque and I love it. I love the color. I think the color is very flattering on my skin tone. I usually stay away from magentas and pinks because it can sort of make my olive undertones look a little ashy. But this is really beautiful. You can see it's a cream lipstick. It's not too shiny. It's not matte. It's definitely not matte. It's a cream formula and I love this formula so much. And I love this color. So let's go ahead and use the eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited. So it comes like this with a standard KKW packaging, the nude packaging. Um, when you compare the blush and this shade, this is slightly more pink. Just notice that. And you get all the ingredients at the back of the um, box. It is, I think it is made in USA. Yeah, it's made in USA. So the palette comes out like that. It's just like the classic palette. And inside, you get a nice mirror and these are the shades. So beautiful. I'm pretty sure I have all these shades already in my collection, but I love KKW Beauty eyeshadow, so that's why I decided to go ahead and buy this. Um, I'm not wearing any eyeshadow primer. I usually don't wear primers. Um, on myself, I usually put it on my clients, but anyways, with eye primer, you always get better color payoff. So I want to test eyeshadows without primer so I can see how it works without it, you know. I'm going to first put, um, I don't know, I have no idea what I'm going to put. Um, okay. I'm going to take this shade, this one, and put it on the brown one first. So there is no like a shimmery brown one highlight in this palette, which is fine. So you can use this shade. Actually, I'm gonna put that shade all over my lid as a base. I do have some concealer on my lid, so that can act as a primer. Some areas that are a little patchy, but we'll work on it. But I think it's quite pigmented. 
Okay, next I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try and use as much shade as possible. So I'm gonna take this shade. What's that? Chi. That's sweet. So the first shade I used was Japan, and I'm using Chi. Or Shi. Putting this on the crease, I'm using a MAC 217 brush. There's a little bit of a um, kickback on the pan, but um, I feel like they blend really beautifully. Yeah, it's really pretty. Usually I avoid pink eyeshadows in general. Anything pinky sometimes makes my skin look so sallow or sick, unhealthy. And pink lipsticks can make my teeth look yellow. So, but this doesn't do that. So I'm really happy about that. I'm going to add a hint of this shade using a Mac 219 brush, just on the outer crease. This rose gold shade right here, which is Samurai, this one. So I want to test it with a brush first. I'm using 239 brush from MAC. I'm putting this on the inner half of the eye, the lid. Um, let me use my finger and see. So pretty. Yeah, well anyway, the finger swatch works better. It's always like that with any brand. If it's shimmery, you have to use your fingers to get the maximum payoff. Next, I'm going to take um, this shade, Cherry. Let's put it on the outer half. It's okay, but I feel like the finger would do better. So, there you go. I'm also blending that so there's no seam between the first um, shade, which is what's that? Samurai and Cherry. Just blend it with my fingers. Let's use this shade. What is that? Hanami? 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 Okay, let's do that. And I'm using a Morphe M506 brush to deepen that crease a little bit. So by now there's a little bit of fallout on the under eye. I can just brush it off. Usually purples, pinks, reds, they are a little bit hard to formulate so they do get a little bit powdery than other shades. I'm going to take a um, Morphe M432 brush and I will get this dark purple season. So I will take that and put it on the lower lash line. That's a beautiful shade. That's a very unique shade. So going back with the MAC 219 brush. I'll get this shade now. This one, baby. And blend this shade. Wow, these shapes blend so nicely. I will also create a small wing uh, with the same dark purple because that's really pretty. And purples can definitely bring the browns in your eyes. And I have sort of um, brown eyes. I have like brown amber flecks in my eyes. Just created a shadowing. And then I'm taking a clean brush and I blend out just one more time. 
So I guess the only two shades I didn't use was this one, which is called West, and this one, Blossom. So let's try to put it somewhere. Okay, I will take a clean 219 brush and take the shade Blossom, put it in the inner corner. Love a nice inner corner highlight. And I'll take this one, blossom, and put it right here. So I just did my mascara off the camera and I actually forgot to do some highlight. Unbelievable. So I'm gonna use a KKW highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter. Oh my god, you're seeing my messy room. <laughs> um, this is my favorite highlighter of all times, I think, because these two shades mixed together, they give you the most beautiful, most natural looking highlight. So I am going to use the Morphe M501 brush. I'm not a big fan of the KKW brush that came with it. Uh, I like this side, but this side is too chubby to do the highlight. So I will mix these two shades and put it on the high points of my face. I mean, it's intense, but it's still like really beautiful. It, it's difficult to explain it, but you'll see it when you apply it by yourself. It's so stunning. Okay, so this is the look I created using the KKW Beauty Classic Blossom collection. Sometimes I think it's Cherry Blossom, but I think it's called Classic Blossom. So anyway, I think I love this collection. I love the blush. So let's start with the blush because that's what I first used. I really like this blush. So this is the first impression. So let me wear this throughout this week and tell you guys how long it lasted, whether I liked it, uh, whether I still like it later because sometimes I change my mind. <laughs> we all change. So um, the shade is Karma. I think Karma is a very beautiful shade, especially for dark skin tones. I think it looked extremely beautiful on even deeper skin tone than mine and it has like tiny teeny tiny flecks of gold but you can't really see it once it's applied on the skin and it blends beautifully so let's talk about the lipstick i love her lipstick formula you guys know that i have bought the classic care lipstick twice because i just want to keep backups i think i love this color again this color is so flattering on my skin tone it doesn't make my teeth look yellow so I really like that and it goes on so creamy and opaque in just one swipe so that's amazing. The last one is the eyeshadow palette. So I think this eyeshadow palette is so beautiful. I usually stay away from pinks like I said before but these colors, I don't know. First time in my life I'm loving a pink eyeshadow look on me and it definitely is bringing out the brown, the amber flex in my eyes. So I really like this palette too. And the mattes blend so beautifully. The shimmers are so beautiful. I feel like you can use a little bit of uh, Fix Plus. Wet your brush and then apply the shimmers. They look stunning. But I think they work better with the fingers this time. Still, compared to a lot of other eyeshadow palettes in the market, I think her shimmers work so well with brushes too. Just so you want the maximum intensity, you can wet your brush. I think all the colors are beautiful. I think it's a well thought out palette. You have a nice healthy mix of matte and shimmers and light and dark tones. So I really like it. I really, really love this palette. So yeah, I really like this collection. And I like KKW Beauty as a brand. I know a lot of people are not very into it, but um, I like it <laughs> but I'm not being biased because of my love for the brand I just um, because it's pricey it's not cheap so I want you guys to buy the best products for the price you pay it has to be worth it right I feel like this collection works on brown skin I'm Sri Lankan so I have brown skin um, some people may not agree <laughs> some people will be like no you are too light skin to be called brown but I have a brown girl and um, yeah it's brown skin Oof. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for watching you guys and uh, we will see you soon.